the Villanova family. Chris, Richard, Pat, Robert, and Chip, ready for action. Playing against the DeRocher family. David, Anita, Bill, Margaret, and Philip, on your mark. Let's start the family feud. With the star of Family Feud, Ray Cole. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Hello to the Bellanova family. And welcome back to the DeRosier family. It's an exciting feud in more ways than one. I always love to see a family get the chance at $10,000. Will it be our current champions? I've grown to love them, the Bellanova family. Pat, it was, it was very sweet to see you win on the last show. It sure was. $10,426. Handsome, handsome players helped you. Quickly tell us who you brought from where. Okay. I brought my four brothers, Robert and Richard. Right. They're twins from Pensacola, Florida. Chip from Arizona. And our baby brother, Chris. Right. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get this straight. They're twins. Richard's from Pensacola, Florida. The other's from Texas. So they were born in the air. The plane was <laughs> flying. And oh, it can so happen. Awesome. You might recognize your opponents today. We welcome once again the DeRosier family. You're back. You're back. Right. On the last show, in the, in the, during the playing of the game, some answers were, were screened from the audience, and it's not fair, and we allow families to come back if that happens. We have, we have identified the audience members, and they have been terminated. All right. So All right. it, is now, it is now time to continue. David, tell everybody you brought and where you're from brought my beautiful wife Anita yes my little brother Bill yes. our mother Margaret mm -hmm. and our father the anchor of the team Philip two great teams and it's time to play the feud let's go you got your money you got your money going down this time this is a real grudge match because both families have been champion and now they want this is the battle to see who really should be champion we've got the top six answers on the board to a question that we ask of 100 people first family of 300 plays for 10 grand try to find the most popular answer to this good question name something that a woman would do when her friend's husband flirts with her David say no say no All right, stay here David stay here the question Pat Gives you six chances. Name something that a woman would do when her friend's husband flirts with her. Well, I think that she should just walk away. Show me walk away. No, no. no, no, no. Look at the steal. The point, the point should be made that this was asked of a hundred average people, men, women. Robert, what do you think they said? Whammy. I think no, she would. Whammy? Did you say whammy? No. no. First strike. Right. Last strike. Can you read the question again? Something that a woman would do when her friend's husband flirts with her. Tell her husband. Would tell her oh. husband. Oh, 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 so you girls won't tell, huh? All right, guys, it's open season. Richard? I'd have to say slapping. Oh. 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 Jump on him, jump on him. Did anybody say that they would slap him? Uh, tough question. Right, tough question. That up. Right, Robert is quick to hand the strikes to his own family members. <laughs> Hold them up there, Richard. Uh, this is an amazing f question for me. There are five unanswered questions. What's that? Chip one. Just let me let me host it, David. <laughs> Something that a woman would do when her friend friend's husband flirts with her. There's got to be a lot of great answers up there. Blush. Show me to stay alive. Blush. Wow. We do not know. All right, here's what the game is all about. Listen to me, DeRosier family. If you can give me this answer, you have $5. <laughs> Something that a woman would do when her husband friend flirt with her. Return the flirt. Return the flirt. Flirt back. Return the flirt. Flirt back. Flirt back. You tell it to David. I have to say... I'm a big guy, but I can't take them all I'd on. I'd go on my yeah. own for five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say flirt back. Show me flirt back. Oh, yeah. Number two. Yeah. 
We, this is where we can learn about ourselves as a society. Hundred people in America said that w a woman would do this when her friend's husband flirts with her. The most popular thing, number one. Ignore. Yeah. Okay, number three. Tell her friend. Number four. Tell her Thank you, crowd. And number five. Well, you're going to have a great laugh when we come back because there's a lot of beauty fun after these important messages. Hurry up. The top five answers are on the board. We ask 100 people to name a game families play around the kitchen table. I go, Dan. Anita. Cards. Show me cards. Stay here. One more answer could give you control, Robert. I would say uh, Monopoly. No. No. Is it Monopoly? No. 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 The number one answer, Monopoly. Richard? I'll say uh, Cribbage. Cribbage? Cribbage. Did anybody say Cribbage? Uh, no. A little something for you. Strike one. Strike one. Strike one. Name a game families play around the kitchen table. 100 average Americans answered this. Because I enjoy it so very much, it's got to be Family Feud. Good answer, no point. The Rogers, let me see you go, and eh, now. <laughs> Show me the Family Feud. Uh, oh, good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Nice tight, nice try, Chip. Because of that. No, you don't have to hold it. <laughs> Chris, they should have made this survey. Chris, you have to. It's the rules internationally. They're going to try to steal your bank if you don't know. A game that families play around the kitchen table. How about Scrabble? Could it be Scrabble? <laughs> Keep it just that way. I've got checkers. The good old American game of checkers. I remember the show, and that's Uncle Joe. He's a moving kind of slow, playing checkers. Phil. How you doing, sir? A, a game families play around the kitchen table. Trivial Pursuit. Trivial Pursuit. Chess. Chess. Trivial Pursuit. Trivial pursuit. Uno. Uno. You tell David. Trivial tell him pursuit. what's going to get you this bank. Now $83. David, you may go with him or on your own. Um, I feel the pressure, but you, yeah, you must make that choice. Trivial Pursuit. He says, with there. the family, yeah. Trivial yeah. Pursuit. Yeah. 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 One answer, fellow Nova family, could have kept you rolling. Families play number four in our survey. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we've got a few. Who's going to get to the 300 first? You won't know until you come back after these important messages. Here we go. The top five answers are on the board. Name something a teacher might like to throw at an unruly student. What do you say, Bill? Chalkboard eraser. The chalkboard eraser. Look at the steel. Yeah, here we go, Mom. Come on, Mom. Come on, Mom. Come on, Mom. Mom? <laughs> Hundred people. Something a teacher might like to throw at an unruly student. A book. Is it on the survey book? They're saying you can do it, Philip. I have to go with uh, his report they turned in. They just throw the report back at it. Three answers on the board. There's one report. Oh. Help me out. Oh. Come on, Dave. Come on, Dave. Come on, Dave. I have to say, a ruler. Yeah. Throw a ruler at him. Teacher might yeah. throw at an unruly student a ruler. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. 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 Here you go, Come on. Come on. One strike. Hey, Dale, sis, can you repeat the question? Sure. Something that a teacher might throw at an unruly student. A chair. <laughs> All right, let me see a chair. Bill, they want, they want your bank. 
Pencil. A pencil. There we go. There we go. Is it up there, pencil, to stay alive? There's a third strike. Champs, you could get in this game. One answer. What might a teacher throw at an unruly student? How about the chalk? Chalk? Homework. Homework? Does it uh, pencil. Rubber band. <laughs> Robert took aim. Rubber band, uh, pencil. What do we have? Chalk. You may go on your own. Two answers there. You can go with them or on your own. Chalk or rubber band, what do you say? Three seconds. Isn't this terrible? I'm going to say chalk. It's your back if we see chalk. It would have also been your bank if you had said number five. Throw a punch. Let's go with another face-up. As we double the dollar value. Top four answers are on the board. Here we go. We ask 100 people, name a good thing. Name a good thing to do when the TV's broken. What do you say, Mark? Play cards. Cards. Let me there see it. Go. Two answers more popular, Chip. Read. Show me read. Look at that steal. When that TV is broken, good thing to do. Dollar value doubled. Go shop. Show me shopping. Uh, I do, Pat. Hand that down. Too much you. pressure. Too much pressure. Pressure. Uh, pressure. 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 This is what I do. This is not a good answer. But anyway, I'm going to say exercise. Exercise. Uh, We're going to steal. Robert, they're going to try to steal. I'm not sure how to word this, but um, to... Um, like smooch with your spouse. Oh, yeah, make love, make love. Show me. Make love. Uh, Not on the survey. Who gets the 132 when the TV's broken? A good thing to do. So. So. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to the movies. Go to the movies. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. You tell him what to say. Two answers get a big lead. Let me call for calm. They have given you go to movies, go to bed. So. It is up to you with them or on your own. What do you say? I haven't gone on my own yet. I'm not going to this time either. <laughs> what do you say? Yeah, go to the movies. Go to the movies. Or that steal. Show me movies. Yes. <laughs> Tell them that you could have stopped them from stealing by saying number two when the TV is broken. Listen to music. Oh, yeah. Let's triple that dollar value and go. Whoever takes this question all the way out will play for $10,000. I'm going to caution all players to listen very carefully to the question. I will read it as few times as possible. Top four answers are on the board. We ask 100 people. Name something parents always want to know about their daughter's boyfriend. Chris? His age. Show me age. Look at the steal. Um, where does he work? Where does her boyfriend work? Parents always want to know about their daughter's boyfriend. Uh, they want to know about his parents or his family. His family. Either team can win. You're playing for ten thousand dollars, Richard. If you know, parents always want to know about their daughter's boyfriend. Three seconds. How much money he makes? Uh, How much money he makes for the game? Uh, Chip, do you know for the win? We have it. Marital status. They'd like to know his marital status. Uh, they can win the game if they steal, and you can give them that chance, Chris, if you don't know. Parents always want to know about their daughter's boyfriend. What kind of car he drives? Is it for the game his car? Uh, it is not. You can control your destiny. One answer. Parents want to know what about their daughter's schooling. boyfriend? Schooling. What he plans to do with plans his to life. Do. Yeah, with schooling. Schooling. What, what he plans to do with his life. David? With his career goals. His career goals. You what control whether you play for 10000 or not. I have not got on my own yet. Three I'm seconds. Still not going to. His future plans. You are the new on, champions if number four is his future. Plans. Did no one say it? Uh, 
Please, I have to reveal the remaining answer. There is one answer that would have stopped them from even coming up here. Number four. Where he lives, let's go one more time. Okay. Listen to me carefully. The dollar value is tripled. All players, silently please. I will read this question one time. Once I read it, I will walk to you, and then you try to get the answer as quickly as possible. Top four answers are on the board. We ask 100 people, name something people put in a thermos bottle. Coffee. Show me coffee. You got number one. Think of a steel. Hot chocolate. Yeah. Yes. Punch. Punch in a thermos bottle. One strike. Margaret. Booze. Booze in a thermos bottle. Something people put in a thermos no, bottle. Milk. Milk. He says milk. And down. Wow. Thermos bottle. People put in. Soup. Soup. Hot tea. Soup. Tea. Soup, Soup tea. Soup. Soup tea. You tell Pat what to say. For this game. Is it soup? Show me number four for the Grover. People put iced tea set over here. Uh, David, hey, that's it, yeah. you, you are great players, and I want you to stay right here. God bless you. Well, let's go. Two players for $10,000. When we come back, we're playing fast money. But first, these important messages. We put 15 seconds on the clock. Wish the Bellanova family much luck, Pat, as we go. For $10,000, we ask 100 people these five questions. In, of all the photos in your home, what one person is in most of them? Your child. A piece of clothing that comes off easily. Your pants. Something specific that people spill on their clothes. Coffee. A room in your house that needs redecorating. Your kitchen. How many colds do you get a year? How many what? Colds. Cold. Cold. A flu. Judge, how many colds, as in? Twice. All right, turn around here. In your home, the person in most of the photos you said was? Child, survey set. 48. Clothing that comes off easily you liked. Rip away pants, the survey said. Four. People spill on their clothes, specifically chosen. Coffee. Our survey said. 36. You said this room needs redecorating in your home. Kitchen. Survey said. 35. Two cold. You said you get two colds a year. The survey said. That's a hot answer. 32. Here comes your partner. Chris. You are 35 away. We put 20 seconds on that clock. Reveal the wonderful answers given by your partner. Bring it home, Chris. We ask 100 people. Of all the photos, of all the photos in your home, what one person is in most of them? Wedding picture. A piece of clothing that comes off easily. Sh pants. Try again. Shorts. Something specific that people spill on their clothes. Coffee. Try again. Tea. A room in your house that needs redecorating. Living room. How many colds do you get a year? One. Turn around. Did you get 35? Of all the photos in your home, who's in most of them you selected? The wedding picture. Survey said zero. Child was number one. Clothing that comes off easily, you said. Get your shorts off quick. Survey said zero. Child was the number one picture. Socks the number one clothes. You said you spilled this. On your clothes, T. Our survey said? Oh. Coffee was number one. You got two left to do it. A room in the house that re needs redecorating, you said. Living room. What did the survey say? 26. Oh. Kitchen was number one. How many colds do you get a year, you said? One. Did nine people say it? For $10,000, what did the survey say? Yeah! Oh, Bella Nova, $10,000, Richard. 
Two calls, the number one answer. Don't go away. GSN brings the Vegas party to you with Casino Night. We're taking people off the street and bringing them back to the hottest hotel in town, the Palms, baby. You'll watch them play the Casino Night Challenge, and it all happens in between your favorite shows on Casino Night. Casino Night, Monday night starting at 9 on GSN, the network for games. GSN, the network for games.